So here we are at the Lampedusa Dilemma Conference, who is launching the EUI Forum on Migration, Citizenship and Demography. So Michel Lavoy, director of PICUM Platform, was discussant on one of the roundtable on governing irregular migration, new challenges and new actors. So I wanted to hear maybe a twofold question, to hear a bit more about the civil society perspective on this dilemma on global flows of migration in a a context of more control of borders and also maybe more specifically on the topic of the roundtable which was new actors so how is new challenges for you as well as a civil society actor thank you uh, PICOM stands for the platform for international cooperation on undocumented migrants and our organization has existed for about 13 years and our main focus is the human rights of undocumented migrants so this conference has been very useful for us because it actually reaffirms in a number of the sessions a lot of the principles that we actually base our whole work and our organization on, which is that human rights are applicable to all, uh, regardless of status, due to the principles of non-discrimination and equality of treatment in many of the international human rights framework and conventions. Um, the issue then of what to do with undocumented migrants when they're actually in the EU's territory as well as when they're coming to the EU is a very, very difficult question, but one that we see on the ground that is slowly, after many years, being resolved on a practical level by a number of these new actors. So, for example, uh, one of the issues that we deal with in our network is access to health care. Um, because our members work directly with undocumented migrants. This is one of the biggest challenges that they face. How can this person get access to health care if they are sick, if their child is sick? What is the legislation in the country? What is the situation in practice? And we've seen in looking at this particular right as an example that there's been a number of changes, uh, many of them for the better, a couple of them retrograded, you know, so going backwards. But a number of them have been very progressive in recent years in changing legislation. So for example, last year, Sweden changed its laws, um, enabling undocumented migrants to have access to health care on the same level as asylum seekers. The access that both of them now have, well, asylum seekers had previously, is um, urgent, urgent medical care, a bit broader than emergency care. But the important thing is they don't have to pay for it. Before the loss, uh, undocumented migrants had to pay for any access to care, even emergency care. So that was almost impossible and it was leading to very, very difficult and, medic and ethical situations, uh, some of them fatal. So now Sweden has changed its legislation. Italy also had a new um, legislation earlier this year, allowing undocumented children who are with their parents to have the same level of access as un unaccompanied children. So these are just two examples um, that show that health professionals are an increasingly present and visible new actor in terms of legislation concerning undocumented migrants and should be really considered, I think, when we look at who are emerging actors that should have a more visible um, uh, entry point into the discussion. Another new actor is cities and regions or local authorities, not because they decide who can come into their territories, that's still the national level competence, but because they increasingly have their own policies of what to do with people when they are in their territories. So policies on social cohesion, anti-poverty, uh, fighting uh, local crime, enabling people to safely report crimes, many of these are on the city or regional level competences. And we've seen this actor also emerge because many times their policies are very different from the national level concerning undocumented. Why? Because they're interested in the general community response and, and making sure that kids can go to school and that they're not forbidden from going to school or that people can have access to health care or that women who experience gender-based violence can safe to report a crime to the police. Um, these are some of the issues that these actors are dealing with on a daily basis and we've seen in working with them um, that they are also starting to gain their voice but they need to be brought into the discussion.